Hi guys! I know it's been a very, very long time. I think it's been a week, maybe two weeks since I've done a video, but I've just been flat out. But today I just wanted to do a makeup haul with you and things that I've got while I haven't been filming. Um, it's not it's not loads, but it's it's enough to show you. I'm really excited about some things, so I'm down to get started, okay? So um, the first thing I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills um dip brow pomade okay and this is in dark brown okay and it is amazing i mean absolutely amazing like i'm so excited i couldn't wait to i got it in um cultbeauty.com um because it's, it's very hard to get over here in northern ireland um you know i wouldn't know any shops that would stock it so i, I would have to buy it online but oh my god <laughs> I'm using it now. It is a me like look at my brows. Look, I love it. This is it here. I've used it today. This is the first day I've used it. Uh, sorry, wait there. My little Darcy is crying, and Mummy Judy's come first. Hi guys, sorry about that. My wee girl didn't want to go down for an up. I think she wants to be in the video. Say hi, Darcy. Hello. Sorry about that. So anyway, yes, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and it is absolutely amazing. Like, look at these brows. Like, oh, I just love it so much. Definitely check it out. It's, um, I think it was $14.99. Um, I, I really can't read it enough. Definitely check it out. It do, it's smudge proof. It just glides on your skin. I just love it. So please check it out. I'm like super, super duper excited about using this. I love it. Also got this Burt's Bees Pomegranate um, Lip Balm. It's It doesn't really smell like pomegranate to me. It smells more like honey, to be honest. But it is, it's really, really moisturising on the lips. I think this was £4 in Marks and Spencers. Love it though. It's really, really good for your lips. Also got this um, um, beauty, well it's not like, it's a beauty blender sponge um, by Autograph, which is Marks and Spencers own brand of makeup. Um, I just love black, so as soon as I seen the black, I just wanted it. Even though it'll probably show everything all the makeup of the day on it but I just like it and it's a, it's a real nice it's a real real nice texture I love it and it's really spongy I just love it I like the I like the shape of it as well I had the real techniques one but um it wasn't really it was good but after about two or three months the quality they started like big lumps of sponge just started coming out of it when you know when you're constantly washing it so I'm hoping this is a bit better quality but I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm sure it'll be good. Also got the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Erasure. So this is in light, I think. Um, yes, in light. This is this is also very very good. Um, you know, just click. You just wind it, and then you just and then I just use a wee concealer brush. And just to under, brighten underneath my eyes, maybe down here, a wee bit in here. Just all the areas I want to brighten. So that's just a good tip that your concealer, just to be a wee bit lighter than your skin tone, just to brighten the areas that you're concealing. But it is very good. I think this is $5.99, so definitely check it out. And also, I really wanted brown lipsticks. I'm sick of brown brown lipsticks with like a whiny, do you know like a whiny color? It's made with like a whiny color. It annoys me. I just want a plain brown. Well, I stood in Superdrug for about half an hour looking for brown lipsticks and I finally found one. And it's by Rimmel and it's the Kate Moss range. And it's called, um, it's just number 48 I think. Yeah, just number 48 and it's like that. Yeah, let me just do a swatch for you. As you can see, it's a gorgeous brown. I absolutely love it. Now I haven't worn it yet because I'll wear this type of brown 
um, out and I'm going to Prague next month so I'll probably wear it more for that but it's more of a, a nighttime kind of lipstick. Also got the Rimmel um, Provoca Lips and this is in Make Your Move. I'm wearing it right now. I absolutely love this. I'm definitely going to um, buy more of these because they do last the last hours and they don't dry out your lips. Like I have um, loads of these, especially the Maybelline ones, and they dry out your lips. But see these? No, they do not dry out. They are absolutely amazing. And I just love the colour of this. Like it's another like real brown with no whiny purpley tones, you know. It's just a pure brown. I absolutely love it. A bit lighter than this one, which is more wearable for the day. It's perfect for you know winter absolutely love it also got this wee lip liner by Maybelline Um, it's in Choco Pop absolutely amazing goes with them two colors perfectly absolutely love it can you see perfect for them two lipsticks absolutely perfect I think this was three pounds or 3.99 I also got the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So that's what it looks like there. I have it on today. To be honest, it doesn't erase all my pores. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it does, it does give you a lovely, lovely texture on your skin. You know, when you put your foundation on over this, it really, really does glide on. So I okay, am impressed, but it doesn't take away all my big massive pores, but it is good and it's like three ninety nine, so it's worth a try. I also got um a couple of brushes on eBay, so I got this like fluffy brush and I got this which I, I use for my eyebrows today with that dip brow pomade and then I just got like a crease blending brush. So um they're very good quality. I also was in Top Shop in the sale and I got this nail polish, which was down to 150. It's nice, isn't it? It's just like a grey with like wee silver like spackles in it. It is lovely, so I shall put that on my nails tonight. So that's it guys, that's all I bought. Um um yeah, so that's really it. And also I got my lips done. La was it last Monday the Monday before oh my god it was sore I mean sore but it was worth it and I do, you probably can't really see a difference I don't really see a difference it was a full syringe full but I don't think I realized how thin my lips were until I got my lips done so um they were a lot bigger when they were swollen but all the swellings went down now um Definitely, she just used numbing cream and um, that was on for 45 minutes and then she just takes you in and she just injected here and here. He, the outside here was definitely the source, definitely the source night and when she did done in there it wasn't as bad, I didn't feel it as much. Um, but I liked them better when they were swollen but now the swellings went down I think it could go a bit, bit bigger. So. I'm going on the 4th of February to get another syringe, well I'm not, I'm not going to get a full syringe I don't think, I'm just going to get, um, just keep topping it up to see, you know, the, I don't want to go around with a tripod but I just want to keep topping it up to, I'll get my lips the size that I want because I've always had, I you know what insecurity about my lips, so, um, and it's not permanent, you know, it does, um, you know, your body does break it down after a while so it's nothing permanent that I'm making to my body so um, I shall make a update video about that when I do get it done again and I'm also going to Prague next next month Um, so I'm getting the I don't know if you've ever heard of it the LVL lashes where they do something to your own lashes a treatment to like push up your lashes so I'm going to get that there done for going away so I'll definitely do a video and show you um, the result and see is it is it worth the money so um, I'll definitely do a wee video for that so um, I'll say bye bye Darcy say bye and I'll see you in the next video Mwah.